Time for another one of our chats with the Missouri Athletic Director, Mike Alden, here on the Mizzou Network. And Mike, uh, we are entering what it, it feels like to me the busiest time of the year. November has, has so much going on as fall crosses over into winter. We'll have football and men's and women's basketball going on at the same time. Uh, what's keeping you busy these days? I'm sure a lot. <laughs> well, this is, you know, let me come to that part of it in which you talked about, uh, Ben. I've been around the profession now quite, quite some time. This is the, by far, the bus busiest time of the year of any of us. In college athletics because again you've got cross country going on you've got volleyball going on soccer going on football going on now you're opening up with men's and women's basketball you've got wrestling getting ready to open up men's and women's swimming and diving you got gymnastics uh, rolling and on and on there's just a number of things that you have going on at this time of the year it's exciting because you have, you have all of your students your student athletes that are engaged in their sport or their sport activities but it certainly keeps our staff our coaches and our students uh, hopping on a regular basis pretty exciting how has fall sports season gone from your perspective? I think it's gone good. You know, I think overall I, I've been pleased with, uh, clearly with, with football, you know, what we're doing there and Coach Pinkle and our staff cross country. I think Mark Burns, our new coach, is doing a terrific job. Both our men's and women's teams have had a, a, re a really good fall, I believe. I think soccer has had a really good fall and, and volleyball has. I think volleyball, uh, I, I stay with that for just a minute because again, we lost a lot of talent from last year's team. But our kids this year, they've come around, they've played hard, they've taken a couple of them on the chin. We understand that. We knew that there was going to be a kind of a growth year this year, but I've uh, been very pleased with the way that they've competed, certainly on a regular basis in the NCAA, uh, excuse me, in the SECs. Um, and I think it's been very, you know, it's been very good to be able to see that growth as well as the performances of all of our fall sports. Let's talk a little bit about basketball real okay. quick because we're uh, into exhibition play and the regular season is right around the corner. One exhibition game in the books for Kim Anderson's team and Robin Pinchton's crew is about ready to start up competition. What are your early impressions of men's and women's basketball here as we get going? Well, we'll start with men's basketball. And I think the other night, I've been to a number of practices on both sides, but to be able to, uh, to see the way we came out uh, in our exhibition match on, uh, on Wednesday night, I mean, shoot, I just, just the intensity that our kids brought, the energy that they brought, uh, the defense that they were bringing, um, that's exciting to be able to see. You know, we're very young, as we know, and our, and our kids are going to have to learn to play together. But I was really impressed with, uh, with the way that we started out uh, that night and how practices have been going. Uh, on the women's side, we're looking forward to, to Robin's fourth season here at Mizzou. Um, our kids, again, they're working very, very hard. And, uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing them uh, come around as well, too. I think we've got an opportunity there uh, to, to really continue to build on the momentum that she's created over the last couple of years. It's an experienced team coming back this year for Robin Pynchon and company. You're very busy whenever you're not inside the four walls of Mizzou Arena or in the sports park. Uh, NCAA governance is, is a hot topic these days. There have been some rule changes for those Power Five conferences in the last few weeks, and I know you've got a big convention coming up. Tell us what the latest is on that and some of the things you'll be working on in that arena in the days, weeks, and months ahead. So as we get set for the NCAA convention, which will be in January, Ben, so in two months in January, we'll be in Washington, D.C. Dr. Lofton will be there, Sarah Reisman, Lori Franz, our faculty rep, and myself, as well as people from programs all over the country. Um, we'll be there to really be able to, to get into the first initiation of this area called autonomy. And that's where the 65 schools represented by those five conferences, the SEC, the Big Ten, the Pac-12, the ACC, and the uh, Big 12, will have an opportunity to be able to get together and talk about issues and make decisions on things that can benefit student athletes. So for example, um, I know that we'll be discussing the full cost of attendance. I know that we'll be discussing medical care. I know we'll be discussing uh, lifetime educational opportunities and, and, and more. So, so this will be the first time that we've had a chance to do it. Um, uh, is there a lock solid uh, answer towards what's going to come out of that? Absolutely not. We've never done anything like this before. But it is exciting because it's the, it's the, the next evolution in the NCAA. It gives us an opportunity to get together as a collective group of schools. And, and uh, I know Dr. Lofton, myself, Lori, and Sarah were excited to be a part of it. Closer to home, uh, as the landscape of the sports park changes with some of the building projects that have been completed and are underway and are coming, one of the thing that's, things that's been impacted is parking. And uh, What's your message to Mizzou Nation, Tiger Nation, about some of those changes that have occurred in the last year or so, and maybe some other changes that are on the way? Well, in, in, you, you, you ask a good question there, and which is a, a kind of a broader answer. Um, first of all, I, I think our move to the SEC 
and the, the, the success we've had in a number of our sports over the course of the last couple of years has created a tremendous enthusiasm and support for our programs, which means that there's a greater demand for tickets and for parking. And so this last year, relative to football, we, had, we far exceeded the number of requests for parking where we had allocated spaces for that. So that became kind of an issue that we needed to deal with. I know that many of our fans were, uh, were really supportive and very helpful, very understanding. Some weren't, and I understand that. But, but what that's done is that's caused us to step back and really know that we have to not only analyze you know, parking, that's one piece of it, but we really have to analyze our annual giving program, the Tiger Scholarship Fund, how all of that intersects with our point system, with parking, with, with donor levels and, and beyond. And, and so I know that Doug Gillen and Tim Stedman and our entire crew of you know, Cat Lee and Brandon Barnes and Nico Yanko and TJ Leon and that whole group, that whole team, they've been analyzing that throughout the fall, not only on parking, but also on annual giving and the Tiger Scholarship Fund and appropriate donor levels and do we need to be able to make some adjustments in those areas and stuff. And, and so those are areas that we're concentrating on right now. I think that uh, we're going to con continue to, to have those kind of move forward in a discussion phase, not only internally but externally with our fan base as well too. But, but I say that uh, with this is that our Tiger Scholarship Fund is one of the key areas been for us to be able to show growth in the SEC and national there's no question we have to continue to grow the numbers of people in the Tiger Scholarship Fund we have to con continue to grow the uh, the revenues and our fa our donors have been great uh, they're, they're awesome and we just need to be able to continue not only to to thank them for that but we got to continue to grow that and what that's going to mean is that's going to create even more of a demand for those space so a long answer to tell you that we're responding to to the 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 issue itself we're thankful for the donors that have contributed uh, thus far and all the things they've done, but we're going to continue to watch the Tiger Scholarship Fund kind of evolve as we kind of go forward, and we need to be more reactive to, to the needs of today. And what, maybe one last point about the Tiger Scholarship Fund. You, you mentioned growth, and you talk about needing to, to grow the, the TSF in general, but probably worth pointing out again that you know that's how the athletes here go to school. That's how they are able to participate in their sports. It's a, it's a very special area of development, isn't it? And, and maybe just a, a reminder about all the things that, that the Tiger Scholarship does, the fund does. I think it's important to, for, for our fans to, to recognize that and our donors are so supportive of what we're trying to do. But, but our number one most important area is the education of our student athletes. And our kids are doing amazing things as far as when they're going to school and getting their degrees. But in doing that, the cost of educating a student athlete today is much more today than it was 10 years ago, the ability for us to be able to surround them with the support mechanisms beyond just the educational opportunities, but those other areas in sports medicine and, um, and sports psych psychology and nutrition and all those other types of areas continue to create a greater demand. But the Tiger Scholarship Fund itself doesn't only support those areas specifically related to the classroom, it supports the total growth of our student athletes. So important that we continue to be able to recognize that, but show the growth in that area, and we're appreciative of everything folks do. Mike, appreciate the time. Uh, good luck with everything as we head into a busy time of year, and it's good talking to you. You got it, Ben. Good to talk with you. Go Tigers. That's Mizzou Athletic Director Mike Alden here on the Mizzou Network.